Hey everyone, this is Campbell Tutorial and today I will show you how to request a rewarded ad, display it and handle the callback to exchange some kind of reward. And this is my simple app to exchange the coins when the user gets a wrong word by displaying the rewarded ad. Now let's take a look how to get started. Here I'm going to create a new project in the Android Studio and I have placed the dependencies as SDK in the build.cradle file in the app level. And I also added the app ID in the Android manifest file. And then I'm going to initialize the ads SDK in the main activity on the grade method. Next, I'm going to create a private reward ad object on the top of the method. And then I'm creating new methods on request ad. For instance, reward ads and handle request at load. So I'm gonna assign the reference to the private rewarded object. And here I need to pass the activity context and the rewarded ads unit ID, where you can find it in your AdMob account. And then create a rewarded ad load callback and override it to methods. And these two methods will notify it when the ad load successfully or registered an error. As you can see the name of the method. All divided ad load methods is called when the ads load success. So I'm going to toss the message in here. The next method is on reward ad fall to load is handled when the, there is something wrong with the ad request. And I also can request a new rewarded ad and make sure to set the limiting request to avoid a recursive. And the last statement called the load ads method from the rewarded ads object. For first parameter, I will pass the new request and the callback that I just created. And now let's create a new method for displaying full screen ads and I'm gonna name it as on show rewarded ads. For very beginning statement, I'm gonna check the ads is ready to load or not. If it's not ready, I'm gonna do nothing. And here I can pre-check its amount of the rewarded ads by using the private reference ad object so that I can put the dialog to tell the user how much they can earn if they watch the video ads. And then I'm gonna instant rewarded ads callback and overriding for method. The methods on user earned reward get called after the user watched the full ads place and earned the reward. And the other methods beside this are optional, but I'm gonna implement it especially uh, on rewarded at closed, which can help me to instance new request at inside it. So I'm gonna call on request at method once again in here. For the last thing to do is to show the ads. And to do this by call the show method and I will pass the activity and the last parameter is the callbacks that I have defined it. Now I'm going to call on request add method in on great to load the first add. Then in float button click listener, I'm gonna place on show reward add method. Now it's time for test the app.
This time I'm going to create a very simple game guessing word as an example to show how the reward ads should work. In containment example file, I'm gonna create text view for show the coins and the edit text for input the text to guess as defined ID in here. And I will wrap it inside the linear layout. Now in main activity class, I'm gonna create private integer value for storing coins and initialize value 20. Next, I'm going to create a new method for set the coins value and change the text value. And now it's time for integrated with rewarded ad. In on create methods, I'm gonna define a word for guessing. Then I'm gonna call set coins methods and pass the value of the coins. And next in flow button listener, I'm gonna check the coins value for the preparing show of rewarded ad if less than one. And last, I'm gonna find edit text view by ID and get a text from it. If there is not much divert, I will deduct coins from the user. And the last one on user earn reward methods, I will add the coins to the user. And now it's time for running app. As you can see that if the coins have not enough and the app will show and return some coins to the user so that they can guess in other word more. You can try another ads format tutorial in my video and the link is in the description include the source code. Finally, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it but don't forget give me a subscribe and see you in the next video.